We're back. I'm with Angela Swift from Houlihan Lawrence with this beautiful home in Riverside, Connecticut. For Highgate. For Highgate that's going for sale. It's in the um, High Point Association here in Riverside, Connecticut, a waterfront community, gated, and it's spectacular. And talking about what goes into putting it for sale, it's down to just the little touches, like the homeowner just said, the stagers came through and really redid their all of the home, but down to the bathrooms, and she said it feels like you're at the Hyatt or a really lovely hotel. I mean, in addition to the fact that she has a gorgeous master <laughs> bathroom, but it's all those little touches. It's, yeah. you know, making sure that all the colors are so beautiful, the towels are folded nicely. It's, it's really down to those minute aspects, and it's just so that the buyer, when they're mostly online, because as I mentioned, 99% of the time it's first instinct is online, that they can feel like, wow, that experience that Mary just described, I feel like I'm at a Hyatt. I feel, so can you imagine living in a home where you actually feel like your house is like a hotel? That's like the best feeling in the world. Why wouldn't you want to come home to this house every day or more importantly, look forward to going to bed at nighttime. I said I would never leave. No. I would just not leave this house. Forget it, all the houses in the Hamptons it, and Nantucket. This is it. And it's right here in Greenwich. It's You work here, you live here, you play here, great schools, low taxes. It's phenomenal. It's beautiful. And I can't... What I'm having a hard time is I walked in here and I was like, this house just takes my breath away. But you would never know that it was staged. Nope. That's what we strove That's the beauty for. Of it. That's exactly what we were striving for is to make it feel like you could walk in, basically bring your toothbrush and sit right down and have a glass of wine, invite your friends over and feel as though this was all yours. So we wanted someone to say, I can live there. That looks just like what I'd want to do decorating. So the staging is a very important part. Staging right now, in my mind, in addition to pricing it accurately because the market is so sensitive and it is a buyer's market, so you have to price it right and smartly. Second most important thing is to have it staged. The buyers today, I can't emphasize it enough, their vision is what they're seeing online. Everything, you know, stores are closing in the mall because people are buying everything online. My own family, every time they want something, they buy it online. So we have to take that experience of buying online, if you will, although you'd never buy this house online, but that experience, that visually pleasing mm-hmm. experience has to occur. So we spend a lot of money making sure we have professional photography for professional videos, drone Mm -hmm. footage, staging. Drone. Drone. I want to talk about the drone. Exactly. That's big, right? It's huge, particularly here because this is a waterfront community. So you want people to have that, let me see it from above. Because we oftentimes can't get up in the helicopter or drive around. So when they're sitting at home, whether they're in New York City or one of the suburbs or from another Mm -hmm. country or out west, they can fly in visually with our drone and see just how close we are to the water. You can see what the slips look like. We're going to have the boat. You can see how you can kayak and leave your kayaks and your paddle boards right there. Your own private beach which overlooks Todd's Point. All of that is the experience. We're trying to capture that so they feel like they're really there. So when they actually come here, they have, it's like they've already seen the house. Oh, the, all they're coming for then is then to reconfirm what they believe is mm-hmm. this is the house for me. And the good brokers who bring them here, if it's not me, will take them for a ride through Old Greenwich, take them through Greenwich, take them down Greenwich Avenue, and then wind down to this oasis called the Harbor Point Association. And they're like, wow, I am here in my house on a vacation. And this is where I live, play, everything. An amazing school district. Amazing. You're part of Riverside School. Um, All the Greenwich schools, all of our schools are great. Part of the Greenwich community, our town party, our libraries, our police officers, all of our shops, all the great new restaurants opening. I personally believe we have it all right here in Greenwich. And you're 45 minutes away from New York City. I visit my kids in New York City on the weekends, and we drive in and we drive home. And it's when you realize you can have all that, or you can head up to Stratton, Okemo, Nantucket, That's right. Martha's Vineyard, the right. Cape. The you're Hamptons, all right there. Hamptons, right. you're all right there. This is just, it's, it's amazing. I don't think people realize the amount that goes in to sell a house. Mm-mm, it's a lot of work. From the very beginning. Exactly. And you know what? You don't, the first time you present something, you want to get it right. You don't want to cut any corner. You want to make sure the scripts are written for your videos. You want to make sure the drone. My homeowner was so tied in. I always view my homeowner and I as, as a team. Mm-hmm. So he let me know when are the optimal tides because we want to have that drone footage you know, we're on a tidal community. It's the beach. When is the best time? I wanted to highlight the sunset since I knew that was a really big aspect of this 
particular home is that amazing sunset. So all those little details, you can't mess up. So you have to, a lot of planning way a in advance of, once you get the listing. I have a that's, checklist. That's just the very beginning. I live by checklists. I have a checklist. I know what I want to do. I have a great team at Houlihan surrounding me. I have a great assistant. I have my photographer, which I use all the time. Hisham is, CT Plans <laughs> is who I use all the time. Um, and we work together. They, you know, they know exactly the look that I'm trying to gather. Right. They know but your style. Timing wise, we like, we don't like to make promises we can't keep. So I like to over deliver it under promise and the end result being a very fast sale for my homeowner so they can then embark on their next chapter. And, and we talk about the next chapter. You yes. said something very important before. Um, so the homeowner. Yes. They have to be ready to say. Uh, this is no longer my home. Right. And I'm ready to move. And you can't have your feet in both areas. You can't I, say, I, I think wanna... about that, that you said that. I'm like, wow, that's a lot. It is. You can't have your feet in both areas because when it comes down to selling, it, it can be brutal at the end. Mm -hmm. You're going to have, you know, we didn't talk about it, but we'll talk about it when we sell this quickly, is what happens when you get an accepted offer. Then you have inspections and you go through negotiating. Then you're really, as a seller, detaching from your home. And you're having a buyer come through mm -hmm. doing their due diligence that could be picking away at all those great memories that you have. And as a realtor, we just have to say, remember, this is their due diligence. This is no longer your home. All those great memories that you have here, they're going with you. Right. Take them with you. So it's, uh, it's, it can be stressful, but as a realtor, I just like to take my clients through every step, right. let them know what's going to happen. And I'm there side by side with them. I was here late last night. And throughout the entire process, I can't hold them, which is, I think, what they want. If yes. they say don't hand, that's fine. But I think it feels good to go through this journey with somebody who I knows what so they're too. doing. Right. And the fat, and I'm sure the house sells much faster that way. It and does. what if the client doesn't want to stage? What if they just say the house Ooh. is as it is? What do you do then? It's it's a tough. That's a tough thing, and I do encounter it. As I, it's been an evolution, I think we have seen. We just had this discussion. In our office meeting, we've seen the tide turn, so to speak, as I'm in a waterfront right. home. But we've seen as homeowners that say that, and I'll say, you know what? If that's the case, you're going to have to really lower your price. And that's a shame because what people can't see through every, all of everything, mm -hmm. stage it and, and retain your price. Retain that equity you have in the home. Um, but if they ultimately don't want to, it's going to come down to price, and the right. sellers or the buyers are going to decide they're going to offer something that is probably significantly less because of the condition and not being able to see through it. Okay, so the homeowner, once they pick the real estate agent, correct? You come in, mm -hmm. say it's, it's you, Angela, yeah. yes. Angela Swift, Julia Lawrence. You come in and you say, "This is what my opinion your right. house will sell for correct. if you do X, Y, and Z." Correct. And there's a lot of going into. You know, I look at. What has sold previously? I don't go too far back because we have had a very dynamic market. Um, what has sold previously? Where their house, according to the town and the tax right. records, what the condition is, what the location is, what kind of street, et cetera. And then also the intrinsic things like, you know, how visually appealing is your house? Look at all those factors. And I sit down with the homeowner and I say, this is what I think the market is going to say your house is worth based on X, Y, and Z. Together we come up with a price and then we launch it. Like we said, with all those checklists, it items. is a lot of work. A lot it's of work goes into it. Yep, and like I said, it's, you really have to be committed to it, both the sellers and the realtors, because you don't want to mess up. This is someone's life. This is, right. in most cases, their largest investment. And right. We're dealing with houses here in Greenwich, Connecticut, that are quite, quite large. You don't want to mess it up. You don't want to disappoint. I don't want to disappoint ever my sellers. Uh, well, I don't think you could possibly disappoint with this house. <laughs> I'm just talking to you here and interviewing you, and here we are looking at the water that is just, just it's just, it takes your, takes your breath away. It is. It's so soothing. It's... I'm in the kitchen. I'm ready to do dishes right now because I can look at the water. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It really and Everyone's going to be seeing the pictures up on social media and everywhere else so they can get an idea of this house, and everyone's, I, I can't imagine this house isn't going to go very quick. Well, we certainly hope very so. That's quick. what we're striving for. So when they pack up the house, do they mostly put it in storage? They put it in their attic. Basement? Some things actually. This was a this was a great example of again social media and the power of social media. Um, the homeowners had a piano, and nowadays an upright piano it, it's expensive to move. She had called a couple of different places. Nobody wanted it, and she was telling me last week when I'd come through to walk through again, and I said, "Hold on a second. Literally took a picture, put it up on the Greenwich Moms, the Greenwich Trading, New Canaan Trading, Darien, etc." Put it on free 
to a loving home, you have to come take it away. While we're still walking through the house, the first phone call comes in. Wow. Well, the first, you know, alert on my phone, I reply back, call. She, the person calls Mary. And by the weekend, the piano is gone. So the power, wow. again, of social, social media, media, and it goes back to visually. Years ago, we would have put a little box out in the newspaper. Right. This time, we had a photo. It was, you know, nicely, it's a beautiful piano. We put it up on social media. And it's, it's amazing. I, I said that. I said, so there's TV shows. They just don't work anymore. No. That's why we're launching this first ever, kind of like an HGTV series. Exactly. A show here so we can talk about it because mm -hmm. people don't have time to listen to an hour or sit down and watch an hour show. Or, no, so or, we're going to give them. Exactly. Nuggets. This is what we need to get yes. them, little nuggets. Because in our busy lives, we get this little nugget. If we want more, we can take more. We can call. Right. But for right now, let's give them a little snippet of what they're looking for. And also, we giving giving advice on how to sell a house, how to how stage, stage a it. house, exactly. Um, how to let go as a homeowner of a house. I still can't get over that part. Yes, exactly. Um, but I understand you have to be able to say, "I'm ready to go." Some people might not get there that fast, but when you're ready to go, then you let go, and everything else is it's magic. Mm -hmm. it and then really we'll see. Is. So I think it'll be very well received by the brokerage community. Hisham's video will do wonders because it'll tell the story. So I'll go out there. I did a little script this morning. Um, you know, talking about a lifestyle. I want them to portray what's going to be. And then I'm going to have a cocktail party here. I'm going to have kids playing lacrosse and soccer in the backyard because that's what, what people would do yeah. here. Right. People would have a barbecue. They'd have a cocktail party. They'd say, bring your kids because this is the kind of house it is. And so I'll just more information that I can provide to the people online looking at this house, but what an amazing house this is. How times have changed. Oh, indeed. It's like have. so different now. I don't even know if a lot of people realize that. They do. Well, believe me, they do. This generation, or the next generation, is so tech savvy, they expect nothing less. And it's actually the brokers and the brokerage community that hasn't accepted it and that hasn't gone all in, so to speak, like I have, that they're going to get left behind because you're doing your sellers a disservice by not doing everything right. you can to present their house visually in the best way possible and in snippets. So I'll take bits and com bits of conversations okay. you and I have, what Hisham's doing, and put it out on Instagram, onto LinkedIn, onto my Facebook right. sites, my Facebook stories, because that's how people are seeing things nowadays. It's so true. It's different, very true. Different way we, to have to, we have to go. Yes, we have to go with the times. Absolutely. So, okay, if you just tuned in, I'm talking to Angela Swift from Houlihan Lawrence. We're at Four High Gate, Gate in Riverside. Riverside. Yes. This magnificent home um, with a water view, an amazing community, great schools. Um, it's just going on the market. It's yeah. very exciting. We talked about how to stage a house, getting ready to sell a house, and all that goes into it, which is a lot. So, we wish this house everything. Thank you. I could move in right now. I know. So could I.